The travel industry was decimated by the pandemic and certainly travel stocks and aerospace stocks have felt the brunt of that. And Boeing has been no exception to the rule. However, with travel returning to some level of normality, the question has to be asked, should you be buying, holding or selling Boeing shares? If we jump into the historical trading graph behind the Boeing stock, it reads somewhat like a horror story. They've had an incredible run up to 2012, 2015, and then up to a high in 2019, trading at $439, and then just a huge plummet down to $145 during the height of the pandemic. And obviously now a little bit of a renewed optimism and the price starting to surge a little bit. And so everybody's asking, should you be buying into the Boeing stock? Obviously there's been the release of the new 737 Maxi. And then on top of that is the fact that they are reporting full order books and fewer cancellations. So a lot of off book factors driving the current surge in the price. But the question has to be asked is how much value is still in the company and what do the actual financials look like? So if we jump into the financial history, we start to see some really interesting patterns emerging. So first of all, if we have a look at the market cap, 143 billion, the share price a decade ago was 66 bucks and to the current levels at about 252 to 260 trading thereabouts and the current P ratio sitting at 46. Profit margin in the red at negative 20.42, and they have negative equity of 18 billion and negative free cash flow of negative 19.713 billion. So just astronomical losses um, that are on the books for Boeing at the moment. If we're going to have a look at Boeing's share offering, we're going to have a look at the number of shares outstanding. We can see they were consistently dialing back the number of shares available. And that is always a good thing. That shows confidence from within the company. However, in the last trailing 12 months, they've had to go back to the investors for money. And they've obviously released more shares. And that is one of the ways they've been able to cope through the really lean times during the pandemic. Have a look at assets though. Gone from 92 to 117 to 113. And then very surprisingly, during the last trading 12 months, they've managed to push that up to 150. 52 billion. So definitely um, some work being done internally from the company's management structure to try and really get the finances under control. Then if we're going to have a look at liabilities, the liabilities have steadily been going up. And here is where there's a big area of concern. Even though they have got total assets at 152 in the last trailing 12 months versus 92 three years back, we have to have a look at the liability ratio and the liability ratio has soared, currently sitting at 170 billion in liabilities, giving them a negative equity of 18 billion. So that's a huge, huge area of concern. And then if we have a look at total revenue, really Boeing was in a little bit of a decline before the pandemic. So if we go and have a look here from uh, three years back, we look at 93, 101, so a little bit of a surge and then down to 76. So a huge, huge problem for Boeing. And then obviously trailing 12 months during the pandemic down to 58. So certainly uh, if we have a look at this on face value of it, their problem started before the pandemic. And that is obviously a major, major concern. Same picture painted across gross profit, operating income, net income, operating cash flow, and free cash flow. And perhaps the most concerning area out of all the financial statements for me is the free cash flow growth. We can see here they had free cash flow growth of positive 11 to positive 30, and then then dropped down a year before the pandemic to negative 407 and then negative 19713. So certainly a huge, huge area of concern. And as I've noted, on my sheet here, obviously the dividend has been suspended. So on the face of it, Boeing is in distress. There's no question about it. Despite the off book factors, despite the fact that, you know, reports are coming out saying that, you know, there's 737 Maxis entering the market, more um, order demand, fewer cancellations. I think we have to be realistic and have a look at the financials 
beyond the trailing 12 months because that's really where the picture lies. The picture lies the year before the pandemic. And if we have a look a year before the pandemic, we can already see negative cash flow, negative operating cash flow, negative net income, negative operating income, and all of those are huge areas of concern because all of this points to the fact that Boeing hasn't been making money off its primary products and services a year before the pandemic already. So if we go and we have a look at Boeing and we hold it up against our 12 point checklist, this is where they come out. The share price has indeed doubled over the last decade. However, their P ratio is above 25, so we score them down there. Profit margin is in the red, so we have to score them down. Their assets are not greater than their abilities, so they get scored down there. Purely based on the fact that they've suspended their dividend, their dividend is greater than free cash flow, um, is less than key, free cash flow rather, should I say. And so obviously they mark down in that area. Then if we have a look at the number of outstanding shares, total revenue, gross profit, operating income, net income, cash from operating activities, and free cash flow growth, all of these have seen a backwards movement over the last three years, which is the total opposite of what we're wanting to see. So the question is, where does the buy and sell score sit in terms of our 12 point checklist? And if we have a look here, we can see we've got a 16.67% buy score. We have an 83.33 sell score. Now, on the initial face of it, the logical thing to do would be to really take the share and put it on hold. If you currently have the stock in your portfolio, you're probably best off holding it. If you're looking to buy in, now could possibly be a good time. For me personally though, I have a slightly different perspective on things. A lot of analysts are very, very bullish on the share. Obviously, because it has come off a previous high of 338 bucks. So, you know, everyone's hoping it's gonna go back there. Everyone hopes with travel industry returning to normality that this share price is gonna surge again. But I have a slightly different view on this. So the industry analysts are projecting at least $280 over the next 12 months. And if I have a look at it, I think they're about right. $280 sounds about right, purely based on the fact that there is a lot of financial correcting that needs to happen on the books of Boeing. Now, having said that, they do have a lot of orders and a lot of people are bullish on the stock because of the number of orders on book. And I think something that a lot of people are overlooking is the fact that we have to take into account the losses that Boeing has racked up. It's going to take a few trading cycles to correct these losses. On top of that, we have to take into consideration the cost of servicing new orders. And I think this is probably the missing element to people's projections on the stock. So I am going to very moderately think that this, this stock is gonna be at about 280 bucks. And if we currently look at the, at the current levels, we're sitting about 250 to 260. That gives us 20 bucks in the actual share, 20 bucks margin. And I just believe personally that this is a place where my capital isn't going to give me the growth that I need. So for that reason, I'm personally out on the Boeing stock. I'm not going to be putting it on my watch list. I certainly hope that the stock succeeds. I hope that the company does well. I hope that their recovery is everything that everybody needs. But having said that, for me personally, risking my capital on Boeing at this point in time, I just can't see the value in it. On top of which, I don't think any of us have a firm handle on what the world is gonna look like post pandemic. And for all we know, travel may be changing quite drastically in the future. So for that reason, I think Boeing still has a lot of pivoting to do in terms of its ultimate plan to do a turnaround on the company. And so simply relying on what they've done in the past, I don't think is gonna turn the company around immediately. And so for that reason, I'm out. If you love money, creating wealth, and want financial freedom, join our Global Money Tribe by smashing that subscribe button now, and be sure to turn on the notifications by clicking on the bell icon. And because I know you need a little extra motivation, every month I'm gonna give away a signed copy of my book, The Money Secret, along with some really cool channel merch to our active subscribers. So smash that subscribe button now.